my YOLO Live in-stream has got an update. Version 1.4.0. Let's tap on install. I can now crop a video as a new video source. When I tap on a gear icon on a video source, I see a new command called cropping. Tap on cropping. Now I can crop my video source to an aspect ratio of 9 by 16 or 16 by 9 or to a customized width and height. Tap on done and I get a new video source. If I want the cropped video to fill up the entire screen, I just have to go back into the source cropping option and select fit to screen. Tap on done. I now have another video source with a cropped in view of the original. This will give viewers the illusion of a multi-camera setup with more than three of the available video inputs. More graphic overlays, titles, and lower thirds. Let's go to the overlay panel and tap on the plus button. Go into lower thirds. I see the same lower thirds templates on top and some new ones below. My favorite is the one with the slanting text box. Let me customize the text with my name and social media handle. And when I'm done typing, I just tap the check mark on the keyboard to close it. I can change the font, the color, the size, and the position. Tap on done. And now I can turn it on or off during the live stream. Now let's tap the plus button again and check out what we have in titles. I see four ready-made templates. Let's choose the first one. I can customize the text, the color, and the transparency. I like this default title already, so let's tap on Done. From the overlay panel, I can now turn on or off the title anytime during the live stream. I can set border thickness and color for multi-views. Tap on Add Video Source to create a new multi-view. Let me select two views one. I want to choose the white camera view as source A and the close-up as source B. Tap on Done. Now in this two-view mode, I can adjust the border thickness. Change the color of the border to any color I want. And I realize this one, this gray is actually transparent, but I prefer white. Once I've selected the color that I want, then I just press the back button to go back. I can also adjust the separator position. Yo, look at that. All right, usually I go about this way. So I can see myself up there and the close-up at the bottom. There is also a swap video option to swap the two sources. Once that's done, tap on Done. Now I can select the multi-view as the source. Let's add another video source. This time, I will choose three views one. My white shot will be source A, my computer display will be source B, and the close-up will be source C. Done. The three views are evenly sized. I can change the border thickness, change the border color to any color I want. Again, gray is transparent. Now, I prefer white. And go back. I can adjust the separator position above. Look at that. And the separator position below. Since the computer display is a horizontal video, I will make the top separator a little bit smaller and the bottom separator a little bit bigger. And then there is scale. Yes, you can make them smaller or bigger. Tap on Done, and now it's a video source. I can now add image and video backgrounds for multi-views. Add a video source. This time I will choose two views, two. The white shot will be source A and close-up source B. 
done. Instead of having a transparent background, I can now choose a color background provided, including a video, a video that moves in the background. Tap the plus button to add my own background from my SD card. I can choose either image or video. I can also choose from an external portable drive. My favorite is the built-in video background. Well, of course, I can change the border thickness, the border color, swap videos, and scale. Tap on done, and I have a new video source with two views and a moving video background. We can also add the background into Tree Views 2 and Tree Views 3. This is Tree Views 2 and this is Tree Views 3. CapCut app is now available on InStream. CapCut is my number one mobile video editing app and it's now inside InStream. Tap on the plus button to start a new project. I see a gallery of videos recorded in my SD card. Select the recordings and tap on add. Go to the link below to download my tutorial on how to edit videos on CapCut like a pro. My other favorite update in version 1.4.0 is the ability to have rolling caption for a longer sentence. And look, other than Instagram, TikTok, and Zoom, I can also now stream vertically to Facebook. I use my YOLO Live in stream mostly to stream to TikTok Live. Go to my playlist below to see my reviews on how the other features work. Feel free to leave a comment, share this video, and don't forget to subscribe. This is Adrian Lee from Videolane.com. See you in the next one.